Hunt Junior Drag Fur. My name is Bill. If you haven't learned about it yet, go ahead and check out a, check us out at Junior Drag Fur Plus. Uh, that'll be you know I'll add a link at the uh, bottom of this uh, video here. And my name is uh, my username on the board is Wild Bill. Go ahead, ask it all the questions you want. There are no silly questions, just, you know, we've heard it all before, and we've all been there before, so go ahead, give us a shout out, and check us out, and we'll be more, we'll all be more than happy to help you. Now, on to the video. Alright. Now, we got our tire all lubed up, all soaked up on the inside. Ideally, you probably want to let that sit for a day, let it dry before you go proceed any further with mounting the tire, but for demonstration purposes, we're just going to go ahead and start, you know, finish mounting it up. With the 18 by 8 or even with the, see how this hub has a nice surface to where it can, you know, it doesn't have any high spots like the other one did. You know, they don't interfere with it sitting down flush on your tire changer. You can just go ahead and put that down on there. Put your aluminum spacer down. Put your two nylon spacers down. And for an 8-inch wheel, cut a piece of, what is this? I think it's uh, one and a half, maybe, yeah, just about 2-inch OD PVC just to be able to get this couple washers to help hold it, you know, but just just enough to get this up high enough to where I can get it over the wheel because without it, it's going to be sunk down in there and makes it a real pain to get anything in there. Now again, we're going to want to get this tight so nothing moves around because you don't want the wheel moving around when you're trying to uh, put your tire on. Now again, we'll take the Dawn disc soap, lube the bead, Sometimes you can get the first bead started all the way by hand. This is going to be interesting. I forgot to take that valve stem out of the core. I... Yep. Before you put your tie, before you put your wheel on, make sure you take the valve core out of the wheel or out of the valve stem. And when you go to blow this up. You're going to need that valve core out to be able to get enough air through there. And I will say you need a pretty big, you know, pretty good sized air compressor to be able to get it through, you know, to be able to get enough air to seat the beads. Without blowing down and having to, uh, Wait for your compressor to refill every time you attempt it. your first bead on. Just kind of walking around. Am I going to get this one? No, I'm not. But you want to get, you need to get it started as much as you can before you go in here with the tool.
keep the tire from moving. Get on there. First one, now we'll go ahead and lube up the bead on the top here. Ooh, a little too much. You definitely want to get it started as much by hand as you can. You get it started by hand, the less likelihood the tire is to spin around on you. And you definitely want to be careful using the steel tool on the aluminum wheel. You don't want to chew this up too much. If I come up with a way to protect the wheel from the tire iron insulation tool here, I will definitely post a follow-up video and let you guys know about it. Uh, I have not yet come up with anything that works, so... But now that our tire's on her. <sighs> Easiest way for one person to feed the bead, get yourself a pull strap like this. You know, not necessarily, you don't want a ratchet strap, because as the tire fills up, you're going to want to be able to pop the tension on the strap. Because what you got to what you got to do is kind of fold the tire in the tread over to be able to hold these beads up against the wheel. So you kind of crumple. kind of tuck everything up so you get the beads as close to already seating. Make sure you got your button, your relief button, well within reach. And this is going to take a little... There it goes. Got the bottom bead on. And there's the second bead. But that's why you don't want to use the ratchet strap because you need to be able to have your thumb to quick rele release that strap as you start to get the air in the tire so that you feed the bead. And once it's up on the bead, it'll stay there. And now we can take our wheel off. And put our valve stem back in.
and go ahead and air it up. Alright folks, there you have it. Mounting and dismounting slicks and changing out the rear wheels on a junior dragster using a Harbor Freight small tire changer. Small investment in tooling to uh, be able to get the job done yourself, but trying to find a shop that's willing or able or has a machine capable of doing a wheel this small can be kind of difficult. And I just thought I'd post a video to show you guys how to do it yourself with uh, Tool that just about anybody can have, and if you're doing, you're going to be in this sport for a while, chances are, probably a pretty good investment for you to make. So, until next time, check us out on Junior Dragster Plus, and we'll see you later.